Load balancing of TP-Link Omada routers enables efficient data transmissions across multiple WAN connections. It balances traffic by a set ratio and offers link backup if the primary connection fails. This feature is ideal for offices or companies that require large and stable data traffic with multiple WANs. This video will guide you through setting up load balancing and link backup features on the Omada controller. Step 1. Open the Omada controller and adopt the router. Before you set up load balancing or link backup, you must first enable multi-WAN connections on the router. Open the Omada controller and adopt the router. When the controller successfully manages the router, the status of the device will change to connected. Step 2. Enable two WAN ports. Go to Settings, Wired Network, Internet to enable two WAN ports and click Apply to configure. Enabling the WAN ports on the router may take one to two minutes. Once enabled, the device's interface will display the online status. Step 1. Enable load balancing and set the weight. Go to Settings, Wire Network, Internet. Find the load balancing module and set the load balance weight, for example, 1001. We suggest setting the load balance weight as a bandwidth ratio of the two ports. Step 2. Test. To check the load balance ratio, you can watch videos or download files. Then, go to Statistics, Performance, on the Omada controller to view the traffic statistics through the two WAN ports on the graph. You can check whether the traffic ratio is close to what you set up before. Step 1. Set the online detection interval. Click Settings, Wired Network, Internet, and set the online detection interval in the WAN module, for example, 30 seconds. Please note that the smaller the interval, the faster load balancing and link backup features will respond, which means that more detection packets will be sent at the same time. Step 2. Enable Link Backup. Click Link Backup in the Load Balancing module. Then, choose a primary WAN and the backup WAN. In Backup mode, choose Always Link Primary, and in the Mode module, choose Enable Backup Link when any primary WAN fails. Step 3. Test. To check whether the configuration has taken effect, click the Windows and R keys and enter CMD to open the command prompt. Then, use the TraceRT-D8.8.8.8 command to trace the direction of the data packets. The second hop is the default gateway of the primary WAN, which means that the data is sent out from the primary port. Then, disconnect the physical connection from the primary WAN. Repeat the command, and you will find that the second hop changes to the gateway of the backup WAN. This means that the line backup is successfully set up, and the traffic is traveling through the backup line. 